I guess the people just can't be, they can't get along when it comes to purchasing cards. Um, they're gonna, today's the 14th as I'm filming this, so it looks like they're no longer gonna be selling them here. It says to most targets, but I'm not too sure if this one's gonna stop selling them. But I've been seeing people post this on social media at their local targets because the uh, card collectors, a lot of them are flippers, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a lot of them here. They just, they, they harass a lot of the customers that are waiting in line especially um, to get into Target that aren't here for cards. But but that's what's, that's what's going on in the, uh, the card section now is they're gonna stop selling, I think, Pokemon cards, it said, and sports cards because a lot of the people just cannot you know, I guess there was a fight at a Target. I'm not, I forgot where it was at, but there was a fight. And um, yeah, they're going to stop selling cards at Target, which I am totally fine with, to be honest with you. Um, if this has affected you guys as collectors of cards, not as scalpers or flippers, let me know down below your thoughts on this. But as far as like what I found here at Target, as far as pops go, they do have the brand still and then they have this glow-in-the-dark black panther this is freaking awesome i want the captain america whoa because the glow on that one looks like whoa, much better but this is still really cool so i think i'm gonna leave with this one right here um here's some of the godzilla figures that they have and then the, they still have a lot of the shirt the black light they got a twinkie the kid and they have the black light uh rogue and wolverine glass cups here is the NECA section. Nothing different at all. A lot of the same stuff. I think this is actually street dated, so I'm gonna go scan it and see what it says. I scanned it. It doesn't say anything about a street date. I'm not sure what these are from, but and the McFarland toys. I think it's from a game. I don't know, but they look pretty cool. Look at these two. These are, I think these are new, and they still have a lot of the red mandarin spawn here but these two figures look really cool all right the dc multiverse stuff is still exactly the same a lot of the same figures i mean it's stock but it's a lot of the same stuff did you guys see i'll throw in an image right here on the screen so you guys can see it Zack snyder revealed um what his version of the green lantern would have been if wb approved it but instead he put martian manhunter so i'll throw in the image right now you know it looks like they got a lot of the new what of the bounty collection those little uh, grogu's these are pretty cool i like this one the one with him and hiding under the helmet. I don't know if there's any other figures from this. Okay, there's this one here with the um, cup. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then I think that's it. Okay, there's that one too, him reaching for those eggs. And I believe that's probably it. I can't see what's behind this one here. Oh no, there's more. There's that one there. I really like this though. This is really cool. I'm not gonna get it, but let's see what else. And then they have this right here, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. That's a pretty cool looking set. It's an ultimate. Okay, here are all the new ones here. Check them out. Do a quick little scan on them. I like that one. That one's cool. I like the head sculpt on that one. And they have these. This is my favorite one. This one's pretty cool too. But these are all of them. They got an Edge one too. Two Macho Mans, two Edges. Right, it was a success. Um, I thought this was street dated, but it's not. All right, guys, so I am back home, and right here we are taking a look at the brand new Avengers Mech Strike Black Panther, only at Target Glow in the Dark. You guys know I'm a sucker for glow in the dark figures, and I want to see how well this glows. There is a Captain America Target exclusive as well, which is this one, and it glows blue. And I definitely got to pick that up. I mean, I don't collect, I'm not collecting any of these, to be honest with you, other than the glow in the dark ones. But the, the Hulk one does look cool. They all look cool. It's just, I mean, is this going to make me want to collect all the Mech Strike ones? I have no idea. I'm hoping that the glow on this is going to be really well. And it's supposedly everything that's purple is what's going to glow in the dark. So packaging on this is very nice. I like this a lot. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see how well... This guy, I always, I always mention this. I always forget. You guys always forget. I mean, I don't know. I don't collect. I guess I do collect a lot of Marvel Pops, but I always forget that they're bobbleheads. I don't know why it is that I always forget that, but look at this. This actually is really nice. The mech suit is super cool. Look, you can see his necklace there. It's got some really nice detail. He's got this heavy duty like armor. You can even see like the nails here. And then they got the nails right there to her claws, I should say. And then, I mean, there, this guy's just loaded. It almost reminds me 
of like an Iron Man version of Black Panther. The head sculpt, the helmet looks great. The sculpting looks cool. You can see the ears on him. And then it's got a little bit of weight to him. Now, you guys can let me know. This Mech Strike uh, Avengers little pops. Now, are these supposed to be based off of a video game? Let me know in the comments down below. Or is it just something that Funko did? But, um, oh, man, I got a little bit of a paint mishap right there. You can see some white there. But overall... This guy looks awesome. He's really bulky. Again, has loaded with a lot of really cool detail, especially with the helmet. All the sculpting on here is very nice. You can see some sculpting right there in the back too. But the thing that I really want to test out is the glow in the dark feature on him. So what we're going to do, we're going to shut off all the lights and then we're going to see how well this glow. Okay, so I failed. It's I forgot it's not even that dark yet. You can still see some light in here. We got to go take this into a dark room. Okay, so I had to find a dark spot in uh, the house. And uh, so here he is right here. Let me go ahead and shine that neon light or the black light on him to see how well this guy glows in the dark. So let's take a, take a look at him here. Okay. Bam. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's really not bad. The red light that you're seeing is actually from the camera. Let me cover that up but it it doesn't let me see let me shine some more on this i don't even know if the back of him glows too okay so it doesn't really look like anything in the back glows the eyes do kind of glow the um this here is kind of like a it's a purple color almost bluish it kind of seems like does he have like some glow features on top of the head sculpt yeah the lines there do glow and then i don't know as far as like the outfit goes i don't see a whole lot I just like there's certain areas that do glow in the outfit. I was hoping it glowed a lot better. It's not as as bright as I was hoping it to be. Um, the back doesn't glow a whole lot, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. All right, guys. So I'm actually shooting this clip right here after I already shot the entire video already, did the whole review, but I'm inserting this clip because I'm it's dark now in the review room, completely dark. I'm going to shine this light on it a little bit more to see if it does make a difference because I already gave my opinion at the end of the video how the glow wasn't that great but I'm shining it on on the uh, the pop a lot longer and like I said this room is a lot darker so let's see how it turns out let's turn this off and let's see this full glow okay all right okay it's a lot better okay so I'm gonna say at the end of this video that the glow is not the best but it does look at that you can actually see a little bit of a difference in person too you just have to really shine the the black light on it a lot more and then you will get a totally totally better glow effect i mean look at this yeah this is this is 10 times better so i'm gonna say at the end of the video that the glow is not the best on it but it actually is really good when you leave it shining on it for quite a while there you go guys there's my quick little review today we're taking a look at the funko pop avengers mech strike Black Panther Target exclusive glow in the dark version. It is cool. It is it a is it a pickup or is it a pass? Honestly, if I would have known how well this glowed in the dark, if I was getting it just for the glow in the dark feature, um, I probably would have passed on it because it doesn't glow that well. And that's the one thing that I I it's like I'm like I'm really picky about with some Funko Pops. I really want some of their stuff to glow a lot better. Some pops are hit or misses when it comes to the glow. Overall, though, the look, the look and the paint apps on this is great. It's a very, very cool pop. So if you're just looking for, you know, you just want to collect these and you just lo love the look of it or you're a Black Panther fan, then yeah, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. But if you're getting it for the glow feature, it's not the greatest. So let's see how Captain America is. I'm hoping he'll, he'll be a lot better. Based on the pictures I've seen, it looks great. But let me know in the comments down below, guys. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? If you own any of these pops, these mech pops, let me know down, down below. And what do you guys think about the whole card situation that's going on at Targets? Sound off below. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Don't believe.